So you've just bought your brand new Contour Design Shuttle Pro version 2 or Shuttle Express. In this video, I'm going to show you where you download the driver, how you install it, and how to make sure that your device is working correctly with a Mac. This process is exactly the same whether you're using the Shuttle Pro version 2 or the Shuttle Express, but for this example, I'm going to be showing you on the Shuttle Pro version 2, and from now on, I'm just going to be referring to it as the Shuttle. It's important that you follow these steps in the order that I show them to you so that you don't run into problems later down the line. So the first thing we're going to do without our Shuttle plugged in, we're going to put that over there for the minute, is we're going to jump onto the computer and we're going to open up System Preferences. If you don't know how to get to System Preferences, there should be an item in your dock that looks like a gear wheel, and if that's not there, just go up to the Apple symbol and press System Preferences. From here, you want to select security and privacy. Make sure you're on the general tab at the top of this menu. And then we want to change this option from App Store to App Store and identify developers. So we're gonna click on this padlock and you can either use Touch ID or enter your administrator password. Select App Store and identify developers. Press the padlock again and then close system preferences. The next thing you want to do is head over to the Contour Design website. The web address here in the UK is contour-design.co.uk. If for any reason you end up on the wrong country's website, then head up to where it says United Kingdom or whatever country it says for you and select the country that you're looking for. For example, if I click on Germany, it takes me through to the German website. So once you're on the correct country's website, I want you to select support from the top menu bar and then scroll down until you see drivers, click read more. You can either select mice and keyboards or console shuttle. I'm going to click console shuttle and it'll direct us down the web page to the section that we need to look for. As we're on a Mac, we do want to select the Mac driver. And as you can see, there are two different versions of this driver available. There's one for Mac OS 10.9 to 10.13 and one for Mac OS 10.14 and up. If you don't know how to find which version of macOS you're running, head up to the Apple symbol and press About This Mac, and the version number can be found just here. We're going to be downloading version 3.2, which is for Mac OS 10.14 and up. So just click on the number and your download should start. Once your download is complete, head over to your Downloads folder on your Mac and double-click the Contour-Shuttle-3.2-zip. Once that file is unzipped, we want to double click the Contour Shuttle 3.2. When you see this icon, you just want to double click it and it'll start the installation. Welcome to the Contour Shuttle installer. We're just gonna press continue, continue again, agree to the terms. You can either select where you want the driver to install or just continue with the default drive selected. That's what I'm gonna do. So just press install, continue installation, then it'll ask you to either enter your password or use Touch ID again. And then you'll get this message, Installer wants access to control system events. Allowing control will provide access to documents and data in system events and to perform actions within the app. Yes, we want to allow this. The whole installation should take about a minute. And then you'll get this message pop up that says system extension blocked. You wanna open up system preferences press the same padlock that we pressed on earlier, use Touch ID or your password, and then click Allow. If for any reason you don't see this pop-up window during the installation process, you will still need to navigate to System Preferences and press Allow. This option will only be here for 30 minutes, so make sure you do it quickly after the installation process. Go back to the installer, the installation was successful, and then you will need to restart your Mac. Once your Mac has finished restarting, it's now time to plug your shuttle into your Mac. Once your shuttle is plugged in, if you head up to your taskbar, you'll see this new icon. This is the shuttle configuration tool driver. If you select shuttle settings, then the driver will open. And if you click a button on your shuttle, you should see the corresponding button on the driver lighting up. Let's just take a look at the driver itself. On the left hand side you can see a list of all these different applications that the shuttle will work with and it is worth mentioning that you can use the shuttle with multiple applications at the same time. Depending on which application has focus the shuttle will automatically switch. Let me just give you a quick example. 
So I've just opened up both Photoshop and Premiere and within the shuttle configuration tool you can assign different functions to each of these buttons depending on which program you're in. And if I just click on the shuttle configuration tool at the top it knows that I'm in Premiere Pro and if I go to Photoshop again it's automatically switched. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the settings within the shuttle configuration tool but we will be taking a look in more detail at that in future videos. When I press a button on the shuttle, the corresponding light on the shuttle configuration tool will light up green. So when I just work my way through these keys, you can see that that is the key that you have selected ready to configure. When you have a key selected on the right hand side, you can configure what action you would like that key to perform. So you can either type a keystroke, press modifier keys, open file or folder or run macros. If you have any questions at all, please go to the Contour Design website, go to support again, scroll all the way down until you see that contact us button, click that and submit a request and the team will get back to you as soon as they can. If you're watching this in the US, please visit www.contourdesign.com forward slash support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.